Alright, gamers, here we are. I'm back. Sorry for the wait, I had to set up the old ThinkPad. You know how it is. There I am. Alright. Let's go ahead and get this sucker started up. Um I remember how. Because somehow I forget every week. Glasses are fucked to hell. God damn. Who touched my glasses? Who did it? Also, also, what is your favorite food? Alright! Alright, let's see. Alright, once again, the fun and joys of 24-hour time. Oh, boy. Okay, 12, 13... Fourteen. Fifteen. There we go. Get this sucker up and running. Come on. Come on, ThinkPad. You can do it. I believe in you. Anytime now, think, Pat. Welcome to Windows 98. Why are you still using Windows 98? What is wrong with you? Stop buying computers from thrift stores, man! Okay. <sighs> Sorry, Mike. Adjusting things a bit. The, uh... Audio setup I have is funky for this. Let's get some music going. All right, let's continue where we left off. Always takes a while at 35%. I don't know what that 35% point is, but it takes some time. In fact, I'm kind of curious as to the file size of the game as it is. Let's check. Let's take a look. I'm, I'm curious. Game one, okay. The main game file is 768 kilobytes, not very much. The image file is 930 kilobytes, okay, it's like a megabyte. The MTF file, which I don't know what it does, is 124 bytes. The music file is 207 kilobytes, and the audio file is 16 megabytes. And that's probably what chokes it, all the audio. Shit. Alright, last we left off, we were trying to get the web swinging in order, so... Don't mind all the blocks and sit shut. Shit, we have a bunch of debug crap going chicken. on. Chicken. So we can shit to the right, to the left. We're having an issue with. Chicken. Chicken. I remember the issue we were having. Chicken. You, know, you can start swinging once, but then after you stop, if you try it again. Chicken. That blue box up there is kind of our swing target. And it, um, rather than being positioned where it's supposed to be, down where Peter is, it's getting positioned way up here. So we need to see about fixing that. Chicken. Chicken. So, let's figure this out. Because <clears throat> that's going to be a major issue. So, we want events related to swing points. Let's see. 
I where was I calculating that before? Oh, and anyone who who's ditching now after Oblivion, I forgot to say earlier. You know, thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching. You're not gonna stick around for game dev. Um Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern, we're doing another hour-long mini-stream of The Herbs, Sims in the City. Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern, we're streaming some more Total Overdose. And then next Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern, we're doing more Oblivion, followed by this. Oh. Not sticking around? You know when to catch me. Let's see. find the point where we start doing everything. So, when <clears throat> the web point collides with the background... Web point gets destroyed. Webbing Peter gets destroyed. Wait. Oh, okay, there's more stuff to the left. Peter top wall. Actually, we, d we destroy all the Peters, just for safety. Then we create the anchor, and we create swinging Peter. And once we count them, or they equal one, that is when... Well, this is like an always event we're doing here. And make sure that the web line is pointing at the web point. And that Swing Peter is shooting out the web line. That's all that does. Okay. And when it collides, it gets destroyed. Okay, so let's see. Where do we actually... Where's the initialization? It might be this, because it plays chicken. Here we set alterable value C to one of the anchor point because we're using C because <coughs> we're using C as initial initializer. We move the swing point over to where Peter is generally. We initialize the direction, we're setting the distance the number of web lines. Oh, angle. Right. So, I wonder if this is just not working out. So, let's test a few things. Do, <coughs> <coughs> do we hear the chicken sound effect every time we do it? Chicken. Chicken. We do. That means the event is kicking off. So one thing to note, it'll kick off when the number of web lines equals the number of web lines from last frame, which is over here. When the number of web lines is greater than zero, we're setting it. Now where are we setting it? Where does that event actually exist? Because the positioning might be having a problem. down here. It should be fine. It happens right after that event, which makes it work. Okay, I have an idea. Number of web last frame. Where is that? Where do I have that? It's, okay, it's the second number down here. So it's set to zero right now. I'm gonna make the web. Chicken. It's set to 10, because that's how many were last frame, I guess. And then let's break the line. It's set to 1 instead of 0. Why is it 1? Chicken. And that's probably the problem. It should be getting set to 0. So that's probably the issue we're having, so let's see. Where am I destroying these? 
I do have an event that destroys it when we collide with the background, but I assume what's happening is that it's not getting all of them. Alright. Well, I want to try something to see if we can kind of control that. Let me just take a quick peek, real quick, how this works. Chicken. Okay. okay, let's try this. If the number of swinging Peters is zero, then we will destroy the web. I don't know if that's going to screw things up, but let's find out. Mm, first one was fine. Let's land and see what happens to this this number over here. This bottom number should become zero. It's one. Why is it one? Chicken. Actually, I think I know why it's one. Hold on. The new event we just created. Let's get rid of it. Let's go up to where the event is that we're using that. I think it went too far, hold on. So, it's only counting how many web lines there are when more than one web line exists. Which is a stupid way of doing it. And I don't remember why I did it that way. Now we could replace this with an always, but I'm kind of afraid of it. I don't remember why I did that, so... Let's do this. No, 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 let, let, let's just... Let's not be stupid. Let's replace this with an always and just deal with it for now and see what happens. Let's see what happens. It is now and always. Chicken. Okay, that works fine. Break it. Number is zero. Chicken. What just happened? Hold on. Chicken. Chicken. I think it's working better. It's a little hard to tell. Chicken. It seems to be working better. It's just very hard to tell. Chicken. Chicken. Now oh, there's one problem. Did you notice when I shot it, Peter started sticking down in the corner before it initialized the chicken? Chicken. Let's see, can I recreate chicken. that? I want to see if I can recreate that. So let's let's do this. Chicken. Chicken. I pressed F2 like an idiot. Hold on. Chicken. Chicken. Okay, but either way, we have to not let Peter swing before chicken happens. And chicken will only happen after all this is met. And once it's met, the anchor point is initialized. Okay, so where are we positioning Peter? Swinging Peter specifically, because that's the event we want to modify. I know where it is. It's, it's where we're doing a manual collision test right here. So, we have to add one more. So the reason we're doing this manually instead of just is Peter overlapping the swing point is because there's something happening with click and play where it's not updating the um, collision detection on 
the right frame. I think it's happening one frame later or something, so instead we're doing it with math. So let's add one more thing here. If anchor point value C equals one. That way he should not move. Theoretically, he shouldn't move. Unless chicken has occurred. Let's find out. Chicken. Chicken. Bam. Chicken. Chicken. Yep, okay. That did the trick. That was easy. Chicken. Chicken. Oh, let's make our box invisible and start toying with the physics to see what needs to be <coughs> changed. See, you can kind of see the position of the the colliders on the frame that Peter let go. And you can see that green started overlapping the background, and that's why the swing broke. Chicken. Which makes sense. Now here, you got pushed into the um into the wall. But he did release himself. Now, a lot of this silly collision shit, there's not going to be much we can do just because click and play is so old Chicken. and janky. Chicken. So, Chicken. there's only so much we can do about it. Chicken. Sometimes Peter's going to bounce on the wall, sometimes <gasps> the web's going to break. Chicken. And that stinks, Chicken. but click and play is just too. Chicken. Too yanky. It's too yanked up. For us to really get it working in a 100% the way we want. Chicken. Oh boy, I don't even know what happened there. Let me try doing a swing. Chicken. It mostly works. No, I agree, Warp Track. The, the jank does add a little bit of charm. So, here's something we gotta do. Right now, the only way to leave swinging Chicken. is for Peter to touch the ground. We want to be able to also Chicken. jump out of a swing. Chicken. <laughs> you can still shoot downward. Chicken. Just a little silly, but honestly, it seems kind of harmless. We might just leave that in. Chicken. Okay, so, the only way you can, um, <coughs> escape the swing is by lowering yourself down to the floor. So let's make it so you can also jump to escape a swing. Let's see. What's the events we're using to properly break the swing? That's this one right here. So we're, of course, we're creating Peter after all is said is done. After all is said and done. We're destroying the anchor point, we're destroying the web lines, we're destroying Swing and Peter. And that's it. Okay, that's simple. Easy as hell, we can do that. Okay, so, let's do this. Swing and Peter. Exists, and the player has jumped. We'll just do this. See what happens. Chicken. Chicken. That seems to be working. Chicken. 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 It's working. We can like, <laughs> there's that charm. <laughs> oh lord, there's that click and play charm. Chicken. Chicken. 
lord. Chicken. Chicken. Sorry, it's cute as fuck. There is one very important thing. One very important thing. Chicken. Right now we can only do web web stuff. Chicken. Oh god. Ah, oh, and now there's two Peters. <laughs> want to do something with that right now. Okay, no, no, I, I'm getting distracted. I'm getting distracted. Okay, so. <clears throat> well, we'll put in a check if there's two Peters to blow them up like a missile or something. But, for now, very important thing. Right now, we can only shoot web when we're Peter standing on the ground. Well, when we're Peter obeying gravity. We don't have anything set up to let us shoot web while we're standing on the walls. Or on the ceiling. Go up here, you press control, nothing will happen. But that's an issue. So now, as painful and um, <laughs> annoying as it's gonna be, we have to set up webbing for when Peter is on the walls. Oh, he's under my desk again. I don't know what he's upset about this time, but he better get over it. Toby, it's okay down there. You're fine, you are normal, and you're a dog. I'm comforting him. Toby, it's okay. You are only a dog. You should be comforted now. Oh Christ, how are we gonna do this? How are we gonna do this? This is most of the code right here. I just thought of something else we didn't do. I mean, let me check if it's real. We have it set up so you can jump off this ceiling, but we don't. Oh, we do. I was about to say, we don't have to stop so you can jump off the wall, but we absolutely do. Never mind. I thought of that. I thought of it. Okay. And no, I, was, I was trying to get out of having to start working on shooting web on the wall, but we don't have a choice. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this. Anything special I should look out for? Here, let's see. There is... You just kind of have to do it. Alright. We'll try with one of them and see what happens. Let me make sure I saved. My mouse ran out of batteries. <laughs> Hold on, gamers. Need a new mouse. Battery. Damn it! Do I have double A's? Shit. Hold on, gamers. I need to check if I have some double A's lying around. Oh, I just found another dead double A. wonder where that came from. Uh, Alright. Hold on a sec. Maybe I have some in my drawer? Maybe? Maybe? Aha! Double A's! There we go. Found him. Alright, I'm gonna get all my sh shit back on my head and then we're gonna see if we can't power this mouse some.
Hold on. Getting situated again. All right. Energize. Nice. Back in business. Okay, so. Get her on the right ball. Number one. What are the rest of these silly events? Let's see. Uh... This is all here. Oh, this is gonna be such a pain. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be a pain. Animation jump. So the good news is we don't have to worry about the jumping and falling events. Because jumping and falling doesn't exist for the, for the wall and ceiling piers. That's a good, that, that's, that's a good start, all right. This is the first one we'll have to think. Number of piers equals one. Ultra value A of holding button is greater than zero. Value C? What's value C? I'm not sure what C is, but we're just going to mimic it and hope everything goes right. Alright. Greater than zero. Oh, boy. C equals zero. Okay. Check. Stop him. We set speed to zero. Hello, Cyberspace Not. Thanks for joining us. We're struggling with some Peter here. But we're stopping Peter. Setting speed to zero. Set maximum speed to zero. Change animation sequence to web. Oh! We set up the web animation. For these guys. We might not have. We have not. Okay. Let's do that. That's important. That's vital. It's user animation one. Oh boy. Directional of this fucker here. God damn it, that's not what I was trying to do. Size. I want to rotate it. It's gonna make this difficult. Okay, we'll just do it the hard way. This is gonna suck when I actually have to put the rest of them in. Position correctly, it is. Okay. Looping. the animation frame when we rotate it. Let's see if this fucks up the hotspot. This is the tedious part, but... What can you do? What can you do? Hey, does anyone know if, um... Uh, Legend of Zelda... Tears of the Kingdom has released for the Nintendo Switch Pro yet? Because... I'm kind of waiting on that to see when it releases on the Nintendo Switch Pro. Skin is looking young tonight. <laughs> yeah, you're only saying that because you don't have a close-up. My skin is gross and greasy. I'm a nasty boy.
Bad people on Twitter are pretending they have a leak. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Bad people on Twitter tend to do that. Okay. Frame. No leak yet? Okay, thanks. So one thing one thing I just thought of while looking at this. We have the down right and down left aiming set up, but we don't want to use that, then it would make it a lot easier for us if we kind of scrub it from the code here. Up right, up left, down right, down left. In fact, yeah, let's fucking kill the... We don't need down right and down left. We decided against it, so let's just kill it. Right is gone. Left is gone. So now, does he have all the he does. He has all the animations he needs. Okay. What code did we need to copy you? So stop. Set speed to zero. Set maximum speed to zero. Web. Stop. Set speed to zero. Set max speed to zero. Change animation to what? Okay. Let's see the rest of the stuff we have to do. Not really it. Okay, I'll take it. Let's test to make sure this does something. First, let's make sure we didn't kill anything by taking out the down, right, down, left. Looks, looks fine. Yep, it's fine. Okay. Let's make sure we actually freeze when we try to do it on the wall. Yeps. We did. Good. Very good, good. Okay. We're off to a good start. So, what's the code? Well, let's finish copying this and we'll worry about what the code that comes after this. Number equals one, web is playing, value zero. Okay, this is for shooting left or right. Oh, Senko's coming home, hold on. Okay. I gotta unlock the door and let her in. <clears throat> Give me a second. I'll be right back. Thank you. 
Oh, yeah. All right, Garrett. Sorry about that. Let me go ahead and uh, get back. Okay, so. Oh, that's a I wish I could copy. It'd be so great if I could copy and paste events. But you can't. Print screen, but what good's that gonna do me? All the good in the world. All of it. Okay, let's see. Number one. forward, which in this case is going to be up. Shoots, restores, and next. Okay. Let's be on. Nation. Speed. Let's see. So if that works, we should be able to shoot forward. Look at everything. Yep. Alright, making good progress here. Do the same for the other one, there's pretty much gonna be a duplication. Dripping outside. Wish I couldn't. Shoot down. We can. Right. Now for the other directions where I should initiate webbing. We'll check what code we need. It's going to be different. Not too much different, but different enough. Code to set the direction. Does it do anything else? All it does is set the direction. I can notice things weird. to set the direction up right and up left. Do we have code to make him point up? Hold on, this is weird. I do. Chicken. But where? Where is that code coming from? This is the web code. Move right, move up left. But let's look at code related to player one. It's 
one up there that just controls that alterable value. Move down right, move down up left, right, down left, down right. One. Left, right, move top. Repeat, well, move top. Now, this just controls the length of the web. Yeah, so that's not it. I don't have code doing it? What? Chicken. What? We need to test something. I have a hunch of what this might be, but I need to test it. Back to our test zone. Make a level here. Yep. Platform direction input test. Okay. Let's set up a basic thing here so we can test here. <coughs> Backdrop it is an obstacle. And then let's create. Character. Is our guy. He exists. I promise he does. He is a platform character. He can jump. Gravity doesn't hurt him that bad. Collides with the backdrop, he stops. So, we have a basic little guy here. He exists. He's cool. But now we're gonna draw all over his stinky face. So, he's now an eight directional man. Directional man, he exists. This is his facing right. Rude arrow. Facing upright. set up him. We should be able to see where he's facing based on that arrow. So he's facing left, arrow goes left, right, right. Now, he's a two-directional guy. What happens if I hold up? What's happening is that Quick Team's built-in platform garbage movement handles that. If you hold up with a platform character and click team, he will look up. Which is silly, but whatever. Okay, so what that means is we have to just throw it in so we can do that in um, in our game. That makes sense. We'll, we'll, we'll deal with it. It's not a big deal. Really not a big deal. I want you all to know I just muted the mic so I could do a huge stinky fart and it was a very disappointing fart. So you didn't miss anything. Very disappointing. I'm very sorry. I apologize. Hope you can forgive me. Alright, let's see. On our events. Copying. Okay, 
Alright, so this event, all it does is it makes him look up right or up left. Let's just verify that. Yes, that's all it does. Okay, easy as hell. So, while he exists, while Webb is playing, repeat while blah blah blah. Set the direction. It's easy, we don't have to screenshot it, any dumb idiot who stinks can do it. Roll and pressing right, well, up left, but up right in the perspective of Peter on the wall. Okay, we'll just do one for each of the directions. Verified works. All right, let's see what happens. Forward. Up, up there. All the way up. Up there. Perfect. All right, okay. So he can aim properly. Now we need to set up so he can shoot in those, those, those web swing directions. It's the most advanced click and play project ever. It might be. Well, no, 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 it, it, it's not. I, I, I've seen some pretty advanced ones. This one in particular that comes to mind, this guy made this Sonic the Hedgehog fan game in Click and Play. And he set it up. Click and Play does not support scrolling. You can't scroll the screen. Every level has to be single screen. This guy actually made it scroll. A side scroller in click and play when click and play does not support side scrolling at all. In fact, I might actually have it on here. On. Holy crap! I have it. I want to say I do because I have a shit ton of games here from those Sonic fan game streams we did. Was it Stealth? It might have been. I don't remember. Um, what was it called? Name of it. It's in that folder. Or not, because I'm four here. Shoot, what was it called? It's not Sonic Epoch, but that is another masterpiece. Over here. Had some silly name. I don't remember what it was. Not time attack, but I think. What was it called? Not Radical Sonic. It might be installed instead of like, you know. It's getting to me. I know we're doing something else, but now it's like, I know this and it's not coming to my brain. Hold on. I need to look this up. For, for my sanity's sake, I need to look this up. Fast Revolution. Okay, here we go. It's Sonic the Fast Revolution. Jamie Bailey. Jamie Bailey. He's the same guy who made Sonic Time Time Attack. Okay. Is it in here? Where is it? Where'd I get the Pizza Chan model? Um, don't worry about it. <coughs> I mainly say that because I don't trust Pizza Chan in your hands, Shingo. I 
have a lot of these games installed in the Windows directory because, you know, people are dumb. Oh, let's see. Games. Aztec. Two. Here. A great place to install your stuff, right? Right in the Windows directory. I need to find it. Maybe it is in the other folder. I have two of them. I saw it. I put it. Probably in here. I know, how to, I know how to find it, I just have to look it up from where I got it in the first place. I'm so sorry for this extended stupid detour. I, I, I just need to satisfy this, this inkling in my brain. Going through it now, don't worry. scrolling instead of doing a search of this web page. I guess because I've, I'm have already like halfway down and at this point if I do a, a, a web search, like if I type in a search term, it's like admitting defeat. wasn't there, and I did a search, it's not there. What the fuck?! Maybe I never played it! the fast revelation, not the fast revolution. I might be stupid. I might be stupid. Gamers, I have a hunch that I might be a fucking idiot. I might be... I might be... God damn stupid moron. Find this. At, at this point, I, 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 I'm, I'm annoyed. Oh, here it is.
Okay. Maybe I never played it. A secret island where Sonic has saved Mobius. Isn't it? no th that icon looks familiar? I have to have played it. I probably just forgot. Oh my God! Like how small this is. Isn't that neat. He is. He fell down. Holy crap! It's one thing to have fake scrolling when you're not playing. The other thing is to have scrolling and click to play when you're actually playing. I definitely played this. I definitely played this. There we go. Actual left to right scroll. Now you can't go left the same way you can't in Super Mario Brothers, but you can go right. Which is very impressive. Now granted, the movement sucks. Like this is definitely the built-in, you know, click and play movement because you kind of get stuck on shit. Uh, what's the spin, spin, spin dash button? Oh, hold on. Oh, there we go. It's still very click and play, but this is pretty, pretty impressive. Oh god. I definitely played this because I remember I hated the level design. The level design was amateurish crap. Of, like platforms and stuff, and there's like no enemies, and it was annoying. I kind of think I know how he did this, but we can always check. We can set the resolution back. Holy crap! Take a quick peek. I'm pretty sure I know how he did this. My my theory <coughs> is. The entire stage is active objects, and he's just forcibly moving him to the left, which explains why Sonic janks the fuck out when he jumps and lands, because click and play does not handle its built-in platform movement, jumping on active objects very well. Let's see. Navigate to where... I just want to take a quick peek. I know this is a fuck of a detour, but... Ugh. Don't worry about it. Yep, there we go. You can't lock click and play games. They're always open for anyone to touch. Let's see. It's just as I thought. Look at this. How this is laid out. 2500 by 500. Is this the first stage, or is this like a cutscene? I think this is the cutscene. This is the cutscene. Let's go to an actual level. This must be the level. This is... He did a little reflection here, by copying the bridge down there. And you can't have transparency in clicking place, so he has dithering. That's kind of cute. Yep, this is the level, because you have the... 
Wow, he didn't name any of his objects. Why? That's got to be a huge pain to deal with. Generic, built in. Running. He has a lot of restore animation sequences here. Upon pressing unknown button, end the game. Yep, see, here's the code. See, these are active objects, and when he collides with it, he just stops them. Which is, uh, causes that jank collision we saw. But where's the code that actually scrolls? I want to see that. Yep, if, see, it's doing it by the speed of Sonic. If Sonic's speed is greater than whatever, and Sonic's in a certain per portion of the screen, everything gets moved to the left. But that's pretty much what I thought he was going to do. Just saw something here. Something, a bonus stage. I didn't know this game had bonus stages. And some of you may remember, I'm having some, I had some trouble when I tried to start the bonus stages in Mother 4. <laughs> Let's see what he did. Let's see what he did. This might be an unfinished stage. This might be like a, a beta thing that he didn't finish. I can't control him. I can't move Sonic. Look at all... No, he, he has like... The, he has the whole stage coded out by time. Hold on. Oh, he does have move. Hold on. I know what it is. Hold on. I'm dumb. I'm, I'm really dumb. Hold on. I have to set the controls to keyboard. Oh! Fuck! <laughs> what? If I hold right, the whole stage tilts to the right. Like that. Oh god. Okay, I see what he was trying to do. It doesn't work. At the end, the only thing you really have to do is press jump to collect the rings. I see what he was trying to do. I see what he was trying to do. I really do. It's not good, but I I get where he was where he was going with this. Like I absolutely get what he was doing. This is the most ambitious click and play game I can think. Of. Holy crap! But I don't have a very good brain, so I don't know. Anyway, let's get back to Mother Four. Where is it? <coughs> think Mother Four is better. Mother Four is pretty janky. Load this sucker in. Ours is more ambitious. Oh, absolutely more ambitious. <clears throat> okay, we wanted to grab the code to actually allow him to start webbing around, so let's see. Where is it? Here, I think. Okay, so, number of Peters is one, Webb is playing, A equals zero, and he's not facing the As That's when we do all this. Okay, let me check what else there is. Is it just that, or is there more events? Alright, it's simple. Alright, so we'll just take a quick screenshot, and we will kind of... We create this uh, screen. Uh, 
this. Alright, let's just kind of mimic that down here. Number of wall here. One. Web is playing. Ultra value A. Shoot, restore, max speed. Wait. How I have that set up? Hold on. Chicken. I do. After you fire the web, you can just move. It probably shouldn't be that way. Be stuck while that's happening. Hey, just that. Well, let's try that now. Let's tweak that. Let's get rid of the set maximum speed. This should stick us while it's happening. It does. But it also doesn't free us, so we need to fix that as well. We have to put in an event to restore control. Do we? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. What, what, uh. What's the real harm in letting him run a bit, run around a bit, though? What's the worst that could happen? Is to try and make it so you can't. To try and fix that, I'm not sure if it would really be worthwhile. Chicken. Like the negative effects of it are minimal. Chicken. Yeah, we won't bother with it. We'll let you move around a bit after you fire off the web, even if it's not ideal. Alright. Okay, so. Shoot, restore, max speed. One problem is, I'm not sure if the code we have for the web shoot is deleting all these side peters, so let's check. This fucker cloud to the background, destroy... It is. Okay, we don't have to worry about that. Alright, let's test this out. Further up here. That's fine. Chicken. 
Why'd the web line kind of drop? Chicken. 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 Sweet. Chicken. 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 Like the web line Chicken. drops all. Okay, okay, hold on. So we have two web lines. One for once the web exists. One for when it doesn't. Tracer web. So. We were shooting it out of the horizontal bumper bars. The horizontal bumper bars aren't following us when we're on the side. Duh! Ugh! I'm stupid. Okay. Fix that. See how that works. Should be off to the left. Okay. Fix that. That's easy. Now it's fine. Okay. trying to figure out is why do we chicken I think we automatically get destroyed probably because the green little floor marker is colliding chicken so probably what we might have to do is make it so when we make the web chicken it's made a little shorter than it is because even right now if we're standing and we shoot directly upward without jumping chicken the web's immediately destroyed because you know Because of its distance from the Chicken. background. Chicken. So how can we do that without making it weird? So, where are we defining the distance? So, where are we initializing? We had order of operations, it'd be so easy to just subtract a handful. Handful? A handful. From from this calculation here. We don't. They <sighs> get the swing fixed, sort of, you know. You can, you can do some swinging. It's janky, but there's only so much you can expect from click and play. Chicken. Chicken. It's serviceable. I wish I could set this counter again in the same frame, but it won't let me do that. I can play as bad. <clears throat> One thing to note, this times 12 is basically multiplying... What this is doing is taking the number of, of, of web segments it took to reach the wall, multiplying it by 12 because the web segment is approximately 12 long, and then multiplying it by 1000 for reasons related to floating point numbers that we're 
What if we just lowered 12 to another number, to like 11 or something? That would shorten the line. I'm just not sure how short it would become. It could become too short. Chicken. 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 I don't think it's too short. Chicken. 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 Or ten. Chicken. It's popped up a bit. Chicken. Chicken. I think the problem is that these these detectors are moving before Peter gets initialized. Let me do something real quick. Let me set this back to 12. Let me check the code that I'm using for those fuckers. Not the swing detect, the actual generator here. Bumper. No, it's only doing it after it's initialized. Huh. Interesting. What could we do? What we could do is we could also initialize the swinging bottom bumper so that for a few frames after it's generated, Peter can't collide with the floor and unweb. Now that could be exploitable, but. Well, <clears throat> actually. That would be easy if we could, instead of collide with background, if we could detect overlap with background, but if we pause the detection for a few frames... Then when it activates, if it's already overlapping with the background, it's not gonna trigger the collide with background thing. Brought it in closer to Peter. It'll happen. Let's take this one step further. I just saved, so this doesn't matter kill every direction, and rather than having it like something that traces his bottom, just make it up a solid block that's at his center. from the ground that we still have the problem. Chicken. Hmm. Chicken. 
That's already helping with doing a direct from the ground. Let's see what happens from the side here. Chicken. <laughs> that fixed everything so easily. All we had to do was just move that stupid collider into Peter. Oh, look at this. Chicken. Beautiful. Now what happens if I try to lower Peter into this corner? I expect glitches. Not glitches enough, we're fine. Holy shit, this is, this is great. What a simple solution. Let's move the fucker closer. Chicken. Chicken. That's acceptable to me, I don't care about that. We shouldn't be bouncing anyway. Chicken. Here we go, shit. Chicken. Oh. Right now, it's hard to tell, but the anchor point has disconnected from Peter. Let me see if that's easy to recreate. Chicken. Chicken. It's not super repeatable. Chicken. Happened again. Okay, let's do this. I'll need to be able to see the anchor point so I can see what's happening. Visible again. And then see what's happening. Chicken. I think I know what happened. It went off screen. So it like ceased to exist. Can I still swing, or is it broken? Chicken. Mmm. That fucker can fall off screen, so we need to have some... ...safety put in. Let's do that now. If. The number of swing point objects equals zero. Some safety. Point two. Eight. Standing Peter. Number swing points equals zero and number of swing. Not webbing swing. Number swinging. And swing Peter exists. Then we will create regular Peter relative to swinging Peter. Destroy swinging Peter. And we will create the swing object. Swing. Plop it in, into existence. Let's see. That should take care of things. Chicken. Chicken. Huh? Record the glitch. Chicken. Okay, now, do you see how um, you can't see Peter? And the box is overlapping him right now? That's because that box went off screen, it got destroyed, and it got recreated. We walk to the left. There's Peter. Bam. Okay, so now we have a failsafe. Although, you see how the web point still exists over here? That's gonna be a problem. Let's see what happens if I, if I shoot. Yep, everything dies. Okay, so we need to have... ...that failsafe also destroy the web point. Destroy the web point, and let's destroy any web lines as well. Gamers, the cat is here. The cat has showed up. His heart's beating, so I think he was running around the apartment like a little fucking lunatic. Gucci, were you just running around the apartment like a little fucking lunatic? Is that what you were doing? Is it? Are you gonna hang out with me? Wanna hang out? You can stay in my lap if you want. Or are you gonna run off? What do you, what do you wanna do? 
He's having a seat in my lap. Gonna hang out with us for a few minutes. See how long he sticks around. Okay, so. Safety will now also destroy the anchor point and the web. Alright, so. Let's just make sure it works normally. Chicken. It does. Chicken. Right. Now let's recreate the bug. Chicken. Oh boy. <laughs> Peter is now like fucking dead. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> Chicken. Chicken. Peter is stuck as hell. Chicken. But he is operating. It's janky, but I do believe Chicken. It's the failsafe is working. Now we still have to get a proper failsafe in place to make it so... Ooh, how it's moving as I'm pressing up and down. The code that lets you change the length isn't considering if Peter is swinging. I have to add a check. But yeah, um, we have to add in at some point checks to see if Peter is stuck in a wall or if there's multiple Peters in existence. Hi, right, Jim Sticky, thanks for joining us. We'll do that at some point. But real quick, let's actually fix the web length. Code. Up here. Way too far. Hold on. Bone little skinny events. See, it's just, if you're moving up or down, it'll change the distance. That's not gonna work, because we want to make sure it only happens when Swing Peter exists. So, new condition. Swing Peter... ...exists. So now... Now... shouldn't have that issue. Chicken. I can change the length here. But then we can't change the length here. Okay, good, good. Chicken. But it's still gonna have that click and play jank. Chicken. Chicken. Like for example, we're stuck in a wall right now. But, you know, on the bright side, there's, I believe we have a, we have a kill switch in place, that's the till date. We press it, do we die? We don't. But we need to implement that. Hey, Hatuli, thanks for the single bit. In fact, let's implement that kill key real quick. There are two objects here. We're gonna need one. How was I what was I using for the player two objects? Hmm, earlier level. Let's see. Player two. Face. Okay, we'll just grab that same object. is a button. First, let's test real quick, just to make sure this works in the game. It doesn't. Because when we're pressing it, we're pressing literally every button. Let me adjust this. There we go. Okay. 
rather than ending the game, we will create explosion object. Well, let's just do bumper bars. Since that's what we really got for an overall Peter object, we'll destroy every Peter. See if this works. Yep. Hmm. Let's add in one more thing. Let's make it so. Only once. Once we figure out the code for detecting Peters in the wall, we might have it do that. Let's see. So, how does the swinging work? Chicken. Good. Chicken. Let's see from that little hole in the ceiling. It works the way I want it to. Chicken. Yep, it does. It's beautiful. Chicken. Really liking the progress we're making here. A little invisible, but that is like right here. He's smelling the microphone a bit. Gee, why are you smelling the microphone? It doesn't smell like anything. Little frickin' spider monkey. Up, turning invisible. Be visible. Be visible right now. No one wants you to be invisible. If you're invisible, no one can see you. Do you even realize this? He doesn't. No. You understand now? I understand. Are you gonna go? Just kind of invisibly standing here right now. I'd appreciate if you could either, either become visible or invisible, not not these these. Chichi. Chichi, I love you. But I need you to be visible. Okay? Okay. He's just gonna sit here half invisible. Don't worry about him. The only problem is he's sitting on my left arm now. So, uh having some problem. Trouble? I tried to say trouble and problems at the same time, and I said trouble. <laughs> oh, Lord. The cat is sitting on one of my arms. I don't... I think for the next ten minutes I'm gonna have to play something else. Holy crap! Because he's sitting on my arm, and I, know, and I just... I know just what to play. Hold on. I can't play the music for this game because even the shitty midis get claimed by YouTube.com. Oh, I knew what to play. Where is it? Come on. Did I like clean up my folders at some point and that's why I don't see it here? Is called Soink. Like Soink, Soink! The 
There's no way I cleaned up all my shit. That would be silly. Why would I do such a thing? Here it was the whole time, Sonic the Fast Revelation, and I was sticking my head in my butthole, like, trying to find it. Anyway. Alright, gamers, it's time for Sonic Brick. I used to play this shit all the time. We're gonna brick it up, gamers. We're gonna get bricked, idiot. Fuck. Sonic screams bloody murder. He falls off the stage. Oh, oh god! The first stage sucks! It's too hard. Throw it away. Oh, fuck. Oh. It extends too far down and Tails' hitbox is too stinky. There you go, there you go. Bouncing. Summon Knuckles. Thanks for nothing, Knuckles. Oh, he's about to. Oh, okay, yep, that's what I thought was gonna happen. <clears throat> no! You're not supposed to be burning through so many lives on the first screen. <laughs> oh, damn it! I'm gonna miss the E! E! I wish I could play the music for this game, but it's a MIDI rendition of Another One Bites the Dust that YouTube actually claims because life is a joke. Knuckles again. Game's too stressful. Way too stressful. Oh, double knocks! Double knocks! Thanks, Knuckles. Get the E. Oh, okay, okay. Shit gets hard. Not a lot of bricks left. I don't need another E. Don't give it to me. Give me a better letter. No E's. No. It happens. We're burning through so many lives right now. It's horrible. Oh damn it. Three more, just three more. The worst part of any breakout. <gasps> Problem. Um, since since we collected the last brick while Sonic was dying, um, <laughs> the stage doesn't end. It's not neat. Thanks, geocities.com slash soho slash 3288 slash Why does level 1 have a password? Mm. Oh god, fucking... <laughs> it's level 1. Game, this game needs to be corrected. Like it, it needs fixes. It's just little things here and there. They could do with some improvement. Damn it, no eggs, no eggs. Oh, I don't know how we didn't get any eggs, but Sonic died anyway. 
What do the rings do? I think if you get like 10 of them, you get a 1-up or something. Bring it, Knuckles! Damn it! Got him from the side. So not the ease I want. Uh oh. As soon as I move tails, he's pro Sonic's probably gonna shoot downward into into the the death sphere. There's nothing we can do about it. Yep. This is I thought. I get that E without Sonic dying. Got it! Yeah! yeah! Get the fucking bricks, you idiot! Get them! Come on! Get them all! You're almost there! Got it. <laughs> I did it. There's Eggman. No one knows where his legs went, but it doesn't matter. Shit, I missed. I'm trying to shoot him up into his arms. Lovingly. That's where I want him. That's where you get the real breakage. Get them bricks, Sonic. Big drip. Oh, he's coming back down. Easy. Under control. Maintain. Ugh. Oh god. It's so stressful. It shouldn't be this stressful. Shit, Sonic. Sonic, there's just one brick left. There's one brick left, come on! Uh, come on! No, no, you were close! There we go! Nailed it. That's level three, but we're out of time, it's five o'clock. This sucker down. Uh, goodbye, stupid. We've had a lot of fun on your crappy computer. Please don't ever come back. There we go. Not bad. All right, gamers. He's been on my arm this whole time. So, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Tune in, um... I don't want to be here right now. He's changed his mind. Now he leaves. Now he leaves. <clears throat> anyway. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Tune in Tuesday on uh, 8 p.m. Eastern. 
for an hour long mini stream of the herbs sims in the city uh tune in friday at 7 p.m eastern for some more total overdose and then tune in next saturday at 1 p.m eastern for more oblivion followed by working more on our game and we might even not just spend 10 minutes playing sonic brick have they ever made a Spider-Man breakout game like that? I feel like there's a lot they can do with that. Anyway, enough of that. I'm going to go, um... I'm going to go, uh... Oh. Cinco's hungry. I'm going to go eat all of Cinco's food and tell her that I don't, I don't know. I don't know where the food went. I don't know where it is. I don't know what to tell you. Thanks for watching. At least be decent to people.